second action painting. Okay, now for this one, we're gonna be using the food coloring again. And I'm gonna use the cups that I used while ago. But if you did this on a different day or you decided later on you wanted to do this after you threw away your paint, then let me show you how we made it again. Remember, fill up your cup just a little bit. Then you're going to add, I like to do five or six drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've already got my green made. Let me do yellow and blue. Now with this, you could, if you have real paint at home, you could use that instead. Like if you have um, tempera paint or you have some acrylic paint, you could use that instead if that's okay with the adult at home. Just keep in mind, if you choose to use acrylic, it is permanent, so be very careful. <clears throat> also notice, this time around, I've got my placement, and notice it's very large, so you could use newspaper, lots of old scrap paper. You know how sometimes you get the um, grocery store ads in the mail and they're really big? This would be perfect for that, but be sure you've got something down here because you don't wanna mess up your table or your desk. Now, what we're gonna do is called yarn painting. So you have, I have four pieces of yarn because I have four pieces of, or excuse me, four colors. Now this is nice and long. Now you could hold it by the end, but then you risk getting the watercolor, or excuse me, I'm gonna call it paint, but this really food color, and you risk getting it on your fingers. So what I like to do, this is just a clothespin. I like to wrap it on that clothespin. Okay, again, you do not have to do this. It just keeps your hands from getting stained by this food coloring paint. Another way you could do it is if you have a popsicle stick, if you kind of wrap that around there, you could put tape on it or just put your finger there. That would keep it from getting on your hands as well. That's up to you. What you'll do is you'll take it, dip it into the ink all over. Then you'll come over, and again, this is messy, so that's all we have the placemat, and you're just gonna move it back and forth. You wanna get all over your paper. You could do it in circles. Let's see, I'm gonna get a little bit more. Again, I'm dipping and then I'm moving. Just like Jackson Pollock, taking part in my painting, not just sitting by and working. Okay, I'm gonna put the green in there. I'm gonna let it hang off the side a little bit. Okay, let's do another one. So again, I just wrap it on the clothespin. And as I said before, you don't have to have the clothespin. I just like it, it helps me. Dip it in there, dip it in. There we go. Okay, start moving. Now when I'm looking, I would like the red to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna add a little bit more red in there. Let's try it. So again, your goal with this is to create that action painting. There we go. So we've got to think like Jackson Pollock on this one. We got to be sure we get some stuff on the edges and in the corners. We want to use our space well. Okay, I've got my yellow one. And the cool thing about this is you can't have too much. <laughs> you can never do too much paint on here. Same thing, I'm gonna make that one a little darker too. So notice I've gone through and added a couple more drops. So if you wanna do that, go for it. There we go. And notice I'm not flicking it or anything. I'm not slinging the yarn anywhere. It's staying on my placemat and on my paper. I'm not throwing it. That is not what we are doing here. There we go. Some yellow. This is cool. Okay, let's do a little bit of the blue as well. And guys, as you're working on this and thinking about what colors you're gonna use, kind of think like Jackson Pollock. What are you trying to get people to think when they see this? Do you want them to be excited by your zigzag lines on there? 
do you want them to really enjoy the colors you've used? I'm gonna add some more on that one too. So kind of think of what your purpose is on this. Because remember, Jackson Pollock, his goal was not to just paint a particular object. He was trying to convey emotion. So what are you trying to convey in this? Again, I'm not throwing the paint or anything. There we go. Now when you're done, again, sit that over there. You could make another one if that's okay. You could also, remember I showed you with the paper towel, if you wanna dab off some of the paint, that works as well. But you'll need to let it sit flat because if I pick it up, you'll notice it starts to drip. And that's really gonna mess up my table and that's not what I want, so I'm gonna leave it flat. And then you have your second, action painting. Now don't forget, if you didn't do it earlier, please submit that exit ticket before you finish with your art today. Have a good rest of the week.